Welcome all. In this session, I am going to show you one of the useful tools for software testers. That is, edit this cookie Chrome browser add-on. So what exactly is this add-on and how it can be useful for the software testers? Let me explain. So before I explain this edit this cookie Chrome browser add-on, you need to first understand what exactly is a cookie. Okay, let's first understand what exactly is a cookie for understanding the edit this cookie add-on. So what is a cookie? Cookie is a small text file. Okay, it's a small text file, guys. How does a text file will look like? If I browse a text file, it will be like this. Open the notepad or something here, type something. So this is a text file having some text, right? Cookie is also similar to this text file, guys. And this text file having some information. Okay, this text file having some information will be a text file dropped into the browser. Cookie is a small text file that got dropped into the browser by the application server. So if you have to understand this cookie, you need to understand this statement first, guys. Partially understood, understood right? Cookie is a small text file. Till that, you understood. But uh, why this text file is getting dropped into the browser and why it's getting dropped into the browser by the application server? What will happen in real time? I'm going to explain now. Let's say there's a machine here or laptop, you can say. And uh, let's say this is a keyboard section of the laptop. And uh, in your laptop, you are browsing up. You are opening a browser. Let's say this is a Chrome browser, guys. In the Chrome browser, you are accessing um, some application. Okay, let's say. Uh, tutorials uh, ninja application you are accessing okay tutorials ninja some uh, application you are accessing some dot com and all tutorials ninja dot com you are accessing when you access this application url in the chrome browser this chrome browser will send a request to the will communicate with the server guys which server whose server this chrome browser will communicate with which server guys when you access tutorials ninja dot com this Chrome browser will communicate with which, uh, which server? The application server. If you are accessing tutorialsinja.com, a request will be sent to which server? By this browser, request will be sent to tutorials ninja application server. Okay. A request will be sent to tutorials ninja application server. And in response, a response will be sent back. Is, okay, this application server will respond back. This is a response. A response will be sent back to the this browser by the application server. During, while sending the response guys, while sending the response back to the Chrome browser, this application server will drop cookies into this browser. During the response, this application server will drop cookies into the this browser. So how can the cookies be dropped and what exactly cookies are? Cookies, I already told you, are small text file having some piece of information. That text file having some piece of information called as cookies will be dropped into the browser in which you are uh, accessing the application by the application server. So, so far clear, right? What exactly the cookies at a high level? Uh, we'll find out the purpose, guys, okay? I will explain the purpose now, okay? First, you have to understand what exactly is a cookie. Cookie is a small text file which will be dropped into the browser by the application server. Fine, during this process. So far, so good, right? Now, what is the purpose? Why cookies are required? I'll tell you one of the purpose, guys. There are a lot of purposes of the cookies, but I will give you a practical example of one of the purpose of the cookies. For example, here, if you open this application URL tutorials in dot com slash demo, how many items are there in the cart? Zero items, right? I'll add one of the item to the cart. Let's say iMac. I'll search for an item, click on this item, and I will say add to cart. You see how many items got added to the cart? Only one item is there. If I refresh the page, this item will be gone or not. This add to cart item will be there or not. If I refresh the page, let's do that. Yes, it's still there, right? No matter where the page you are going and how many times you are refreshing, this one item is still there in the cart. Somehow the application is remembering, right? Somehow this browser is remem remembering this item. How the browser can remember the item that I added earlier to this cart? Because of the cookies, guys. Because of the cookies, this item is being maintained in your browser. Now, guys, what we can do is, 
we will install some add on guys okay what is that add on edit this cookie add on so this is the add on we are talking about right uh, in one of the useful tools for software testers is edit this cookie add on that add on i am installing it to demonstrate what is the purpose of cookies in this uh, kind of thing okay application so when you browse this when you search for this edit this cookie you'll get this link from chrome.google.com go to this edit this cookie will be taken to this chrome web store page where edit this cookie add on is available click on add to chrome and add extension this cookie will add it to the will get installed and added in your browser you see the cookie got added here edit this cookie has been added to the chrome now i will pin it to the pin it to the chrome browser so that uh, you can directly see the cookie this is a cookie guys uh, as a christmas is coming they have changed an icon icon a bit but uh, original icon is uh, only cookie guys okay on the top cap may not be there but now as a christmas is coming nearby this cap is coming in the icon okay fine that's fine guys uh, so here guys so to find out what are all the cookies okay what are all the cookies that got added to this application okay that are added by this application into this browser application server into this browser how to find it out when you browse this application url in the chrome browser the application server of this application will add some cookies onto this browser what are all the cookies that got added how to find it out not to find it out we need to use this edit this cookie just now we installed this edit this cookie chrome chrome browser add on right when you click on that this chrome browser add on that is edit this cookie add on will display all the cookies that got added by the application tutorials in the application server onto this browser okay now what i'm going to do is so till the cookies are available no issues okay when that cookies are available no use uh, no problem okay till these cookies are as it is there is no problem refresh the page you see the item is still maintained go to any page the item is still maintained you see still one item is displayed here but the moment when you click on this cookie add on edit this cookie add on and delete all these cookies i deleted all the cookies guys now refresh the page what happened to the items guys there was one item in the cart right once the moment i deleted this cookies the moment i deleted the cookies and refreshed the page the item is gone the pro the thing here is the cookie okay by using the information that is stored in the cookie that is small text files in this browser this this application is displaying this as one item okay when the moment i deleted the cookie the information in the chrome browser is lost and because of that no items are displayed here like this many other advantages of the cookies are there guys fine the purpose of the cookies is very huge but for now you understand right not to maintain few things on the application application server will use some cookies okay everything uh, complete load cannot be taken by the application server guys uh, few things will be few things will be uh, maintained at the client side itself based on the cookies stored in the browser information stored in the cookies in this browser okay the information like how many items are added to the cart everything will be maintained once the cookies are deleted information is lost and your zero items is coming this is what is happening guys okay so hope you understood the purpose of the cookie now but uh, what is the actual purpose of this uh, add on guys edit this cookie add on it's simply called as this cook edit this cookie add on okay now i am explaining about the edit this cookie add on edit this cookie add on is a cookie manager add on okay the purpose is to cookie manage the cookies it's a cookie manager managing add on or manager add on cookie manager add on so what what do you mean by manager here how you are going to manage the cookies again when i refresh again the cookies will come back guys that's fine so here some cookies are there right here some cookies are there these are added by the application server into this browser fine now using this edit this cookie you can view the different cookies that are added by the application server into this browser on accessing this application url here and you can find the information of this uh, cookies like what is the uh, name of the cookies currency what is the value of the cookie usd and uh, here uh, the domain what is the application domain and what is the path and then expiring when this cookie is going to expire all those details are coming your session id details are there so here some expiring of the cookies is also there guys language expiry currency expiry is also there for example if you add some items to the cart add to cart now go here some extra cookies are coming right apart from currency language you see for every action you are performing on the application the application server is adding some cookies onto your browser this two came after you added the item to the cart now let's delete them 
only this uh, two items, two cookies, which uh, got displayed after adding the item to the cart, right? I'm just deleting them and refresh. Still there, it's not about uh, add to cart, it seems. Still coming, guys, somehow they are coming. Maybe if I delete this, let's see, each and let's try each and everything. You see, when I delete the session, the cookies are going. Okay, when I delete the session, the cookies are going somehow. I mean, the item is added to the cart are going off. So there is some relation between the information stored in this uh, browser, browser side in this application, the browser side and this cookies, right? These cookies are maintaining some information somehow. So there is a lot of advantages of the cookies, guys. So one of the uh, like uh, advantages is like uh, this one, right? Cat cart item, okay? So before you sign in, here you have not signed in, guys. Before you sign in, if you add some item to the cart, the application server will not store anything guys after you log in and add something to the card the application and the application server can store something because you have logged in and you are adding something to the card so application can store that but before you log into the application and you are try to add something to the card and simply okay at this time what happens is this information of adding this item to the card will be maintained in the cookies case okay but if you delete the cookies, the information will be gone from the client side. And when you refresh the page, you see you will not see any cookie, I mean, item added here. At a high level, you understood to some extent uh, how, what is the purpose of the cookies. But guys, uh, why we, uh, why as a testers, we have to use this uh, add-on, okay? Why as a testers, we have to use this add-on? I'll explain. So this is a, one of the useful tools for software testers because when you refresh the page and uh, you want to verify, okay, when you open this application URL in the browser, you'll get some requirements from the business saying, when you open the application URL, so and so cookies need to be added into your browser. But how to check so and so cookies got added into my browser? It, it will be easy guys. It will be easy to check if you install this add-on known as edit this cookie add-on to check what are all the cookies that got added by the application server into the browser on doing so and so action. That's one thing. Second thing is, you may get a requirement from the business for testing, for test, uh, because when you get a requirement, you have to test right as a software tester. When you get that requirement, in that requirement, there may be some things like uh, so and so cookie need to be added, and it should have the de default value as USD. You have to verify all this stuff, guys, okay? In order to verify that, this cookie manager makes your job easy, guys, okay? It is this cookie add-on will make your job easy, okay? You see here, easily we can check what, and also sometimes in the requirements, right? Uh, there will be some expiration date mentioned also. Okay, this is how the expiration date for this particular cookie should be added to the browser should be displayed. So we can verify all these things. These are also testing guys. Testing means not only testing the application, but also sometimes we may also have to test according to the requirements we have to test how many number of cookies need to be added by this application onto the into the browser. How many, uh, what is the details of these cookies? Okay, what, what, will, what should, uh, sometimes uh, the requirement may be like this guys. That is when you delete a cookie, something should happen, okay? In the requirements, there will be mentioned like uh, delete one of the cookie and something on the application should happen. For that also, we need this edit this cookie manager, right? Uh, simply you go to the edit this cookie manager and select that cookie that need to be deleted as per the requirements, delete that. And after deleting that, you will check the, whether the uh, functionality is got affected as mentioned in the requirements, okay? That's maybe one thing. And one more thing also may happen guys, uh, that is apart from deleting the cookies, sometimes, uh, we may have to for testing the application for testing the application uh, let's say the developer will give you some cookies guys okay add this cookie and check the functionality like that so before before adding this cookie what's happening after adding the cookie what's happening like that we have to check sometimes based on the requirements or based on the uh, while the project is going on your developer may want to try something guys for that he may give you some cookies add them to your browser and test okay if you are getting an issue Let's say you're getting an issue in your application guys. And uh, uh, so by default, that issue is coming. So when you approach it to the developer for the solution for this uh, and uh, showing him that there is an issue here, the developer may actually fix something and he may give you a cookie guys, okay? There may be some situations where you may get a cookie. By adding that cookie, if the issue is gone, that means developer has found the solution, okay? So that will come in the next build, okay? They will integrate that in the next build and give it to you. Like that many advantages are there guys. So sometimes uh, you will get these cookies before performing testing. Uh, before Instead of directly performing testing on the application, your business or developers may ask you to add some cookies to your application and then perform testing, okay? Sometimes the situations may come. So for all the situations, guys, for deleting the cookies, for viewing the, viewing the number of cookies, for viewing the each and every detail of these cookies, for uh, 
uh, adding the new cookies and testing some things, testing some functionality. For all these reasons, this edit this cookie manager is very helpful add-on. Okay, so you don't have to go to the Chrome browser settings and then go to the cookie section and uh, do all the stuff. Simply by adding this, installing this add-on in the browser, you can get all the information of the cookies added by this application ser application server into this uh, browser. It will be displayed here and it will be there at your fingertips, right? You see, you can perform any operation on this cookies and according to the requirements and check the application accordingly. So hope guys you understood uh, what is the exact purpose of this uh, edit this cookie Chrome browser add-on and how it can be useful for the software testers. So that's it guys. See you. Bye.